Well, the Robinsons will face all sorts of challenges during the final season of Lost in Space. And with danger at every turn, even the youngest member of the family will step up. Danger, Will Robinson. Maybe the only way to put an end to this is to face the danger. The robots are going to come for me. And when they do, if my family's anywhere near, they're going to get hurt. Uh-uh, not on Will's watch, they won't. The ridiculously talented young man who plays Will Robinson joins us now. Please say hello to actor, musician, and Jedi, Maxwell Jenkins! Hey, guys, how's it going? Hi, Maxwell. <laughs> so, first Hi. of all, how does it feel watching that clip? Because I was tearing up and I'm not even on the show. <laughs> it's, uh, it's, it's fun watching that clip. You know, we, we filmed that particular scene on a cold, dark mountain nearly in the middle of the night with no service and i was just thinking to myself you know you know of course we have such an incredibly talented vfx crew and amazing set dressers but you know behind us and all around us was this rock quarry that did not look like it belonged in space i'm pretty sure there was a bulldozer at the bottom of the hill um but they made it work and it's so incredible seeing these scenes uh after after hundreds and thousands of people Listen, put, put so much time into it. You guys always make it work. I told you I met your TV sister, Penny, not too long ago, and this is the final season of the show. And as your loyal fans, we have watched, literally watched you grow up right before our eyes. So how old were you when you first started the show? Gosh, I was 11 years old oh, on the wow. first day of Lost in Space. Gosh. I might have even been, I might have even been 10 when I went in uh, to get scanned for my spacesuit. So oh my I was gosh. And, and here, here so th remember I was telling you about your biggest fan? There he yeah. is right there, his name is Luca. Aww. And Luca found out you were coming in and I said, can you give me questions from, for uh, you? And he said, sure, I will give you questions for Maxwell. So you ready to answer Luca's questions? I can't wait. Okay, so here's Luca's first question, first question. He said, he wants to know if it's harder to act with a robot than other characters. And is the robot even there or added after the scene? I would say that not only is it, uh, here's what I would say about acting with the robot. It, it definitely took some, some time to get used to it. But after I got used to it, I made this, I made this connection to where the robot is a lot like my rescued pit bulls that I have here at home. Aww. They're both, you know, they, they have a bad reputation sometimes. You know, sometimes people will cross the street when you're walking them. Um, but they're the fiercest protectors. They're kind, they're loyal, and they wouldn't even hurt a fly. Um, and it, so if, you, if you thought that first yeah. question was impressive, Maxwell, wait for this one. Luca's I second question <laughs> says, you're always facing danger. What tips would you give to kids to face things that are scary? Gosh, that's a good question, right? Luca. Um, that is an amazing question. Uh, I would say that if I, if I had to give any advice to face things that are scary is, um, is to not be afraid to ask for help. I think Will Robinson's main message this season is that, um, you know, he really finds himself in trouble when he feels like he's the only one who can do something. Uh, and, you know, I think now more than ever, it's, it's important that we rely on our loved ones. And, um, you know, even though we can feel alone sometimes, especially, you know, c going back into a, a dark time in the pandemic, I think that it's important that we ask for help from, Gosh, from our neighbors and from you're our You're so ones. wise. Wise and talented. <laughs> Why, everything that I am not, you are, Maxwell. No, okay. no, oh, no. Oh, please, you know this. I would I lie to you? No, I wouldn't. So aside from working <laughs> on a big deal show like Lost in Space, you've also worked with some big deal names in Hollywood, like Mark Wahlberg, who you worked with on Joe Bell. And now we'll get to see you pretty soon on the series Reacher, which is based on the super popular books. So are you already done shooting that? Or are you still yeah, I'm, about to I am, uh, I've completed shooting it. Uh, I, I did it, gosh, a few months ago. It feels like just yesterday, but I guess it was a few months ago now that I think about it. That was a really fun one to film. I got to work with a director from Lost in Space on that, Steven Sergic. Ooh, see? The family always, it's always, always full circle. The family follows you oh, around. Yeah. Okay, so uh, let me just, I already said you're like wise and talented and everything that I'm not. Oh, it's, there's even more. Because not only do you have skills in acting and music, because we see the guitars behind you, I've always thought about running away with the circus, Maxwell. And turns out you're also a pro at that because you performed at a circus for the first time at three years old? Yes, yeah, my, my family, we run a theatrical circus here in Chicago called the Midnight Circus. Mm -hmm. And our main message is to bring communities together. You know, Chicago is a gorgeous city, but it's also a brutal city. And there are many underserved communities across our city. So 
um, we really make a point to travel to every neighborhood park that we can get to in the year from far south side to the far north side to the west side. And, you know, our main message is bringing community together one circus at a time. And, you know, we raise money to help, you know, re rebuild play lots and bring together community and, you know, basically, you know, improve, uh, improve the community at which we play. So Maxwell is always working. Technically, because when you're not on set, you're working off screen, working with your rescue animals, working with the circus and everything. So how, how are you taking, how do you chill? What do you do to chill like now that you're on holiday break? I would say now that I'm on holiday break and I don't have homework because I go to my public school, um, I would say that my biggest thing is uh, probably music. That's always been something that I find that I can do to relax. Um, I play about five instruments. Of course you do. Um, so uh, <laughs> I... Um, I've always found whether it be on set or whether it's at home after I finish my homework and I'm stressed, what I what I always do is I sit down and I just either noodle on my guitar, learn a song, just strum some chords, write a song maybe. It's 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 very therapeutic for me. Well, yeah, okay. I'm, I'm going to try and write a song. Nah. All right, so by the way, can you do... I'm not you, great at it. No, oh, please, you're, you're lying to me. Can you do a quick happy Merry Christmas, happy holidays to Luca because he's watching right now, please? Yes, please, I'd love to. I was going to ask. Luca, I hope you have a very happy holidays and your questions were brilliant and hopefully I get to meet you someday soon. Well, he has a brilliant mom who works with us, Kirsten, here. So, Maxwell, such a pleasure to meet you. Whenever you're in New York, let us know. Luca's dad makes the best yes. pizza, just so you know. Oh, Awesome. I, Just so oh, you know, I, I'm a Chicago, I'm a Chicago kid, so I'm used to deep dish. I gotta, I gotta get. Um, you gotta come New try York the New York style. one. So we'll be here waiting yep. for you. Till then, we're gonna Amazing. check you out in the final season of Lost in Space. It is now streaming on Netflix. Bye, Maxwell. Thank you Love guys you so much. much. See you, Luca. See <laughs>